known for her exotic beauty and power of seduction. Cleopatra's romantic liaisons and military alliances with the Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony set her apart. Cleopatra's life and death were shrouded in mystery and have been a source of speculation all this time. And guess what? The lost tomb of Cleopatra is found, putting an end to all the doubts and speculations surrounding her life and death. What shocking secrets has this tomb revealed? Embark on this journey to ancient Egypt, where we lift the veil from the shocking secrets. Cleopatra VII ruled against Egypt as a co-regent, first with her father, then with her two younger brothers, and finally with her son for almost three decades. Cleopatra was invincible. She knew how to sway people with her charm. It was said that no one could defeat Cleopatra, but unfortunately, she attempted suicide at the age of 39 years. Why would a powerful ruler like her do that? It was the love for her husband, Mark Anthony, that forced her to take this step. After Octavian's forces soundly defeated Antony and Cleopatra's forces in the Battle of Actium on September 2nd, 31 BC, Cleopatra's ships deserted the battle and fled to Egypt, and Antony quickly broke away and followed her with a few ships. Meanwhile, Antony heard a rumor that Cleopatra had committed suicide. He fell on his sword and died just as word came that the rumor was false. Cleopatra locked herself in her chamber with two of her female servants on August 12, 30 BC. After burying Antony and meeting with victorious Octavian, Plutarch and other Greco-Roman scholars advanced the theory that she used the poisonous snake known as the asp, a symbol of divine royalty, to kill herself. Cleopatra's body was buried alongside Antony's as per her wishes. Nobody knows what happened for sure and her tomb got lost with the passage of time. Researchers have been looking into this matter ever since. While the researchers were searching for Cleopatra's tomb, they stumbled upon two mummies at Tapos Iris Magna. These mummies date back to the time of Cleopatra, and because of how Cleopatra and Anthony were believed to be buried, many people think this discovery is sensational, believing that the mummies belonged to Cleopatra and Anthony. The tomb had been sealed for 2,000 years, and the mummies were found covered in gold leaf, signifying that they belonged to rich and powerful people, as only individuals of the status were buried in such a manner. While some believe that the mummies might be Cleopatra and her husband, others believe that the individuals might have had a close relationship with Cleopatra herself. Identifying the mummies was challenging because they had been damaged by water and other natural factors. As a result, they were x-rayed, revealing that the mummies belonged to a man and a woman. Some people speculated that they were priests who played important roles in keeping the pharaohs in power. One of the mummies even had a gold leaf painting of a scarab, which was a symbol of rebirth. For many years of research, no one has ever been able to find the tomb of any Ptolemaic pharaoh, including Cleopatra. However, the discovery of the two mummies at Taposiris Magna is seen as a significant breakthrough. Many archaeologists believe that Cleopatra's tomb may be located there, with Dr. Kathleen Martinez holding that belief strongly. She's been leading excavations at Tapos Iris Magna for over 14 years, driven by the belief that she would one day find what she's been looking for. As of now, only a small part of Tapos Iris Magna has been explored, and there, they found a burial chamber containing two mummies. Additionally, a limestone slab was found in the chamber, which, when removed with a chisel and hammer, revealed a small hole through which the researchers could see the mummies. They also discovered a headless statue that belonged to King Ptolemy IV, one of Cleopatra's ancestors, and a foundation plate indicating that the temple was once dedicated to goddess Isis, a deity Cleopatra associated herself with during her reign. This discovery suggests a direct relationship between Cleopatra and the temple, which is a significant step forward in the search for Cleopatra's tomb. Researchers are hopeful that this discovery will bring them closer to uncovering the long-lost tomb of this historical figure. So how are historians so sure about these mummies? Of all the 20 temples that were studied in Alexandria, the Temple of Tapos Iris Magna is the only one that satisfies all the necessary conditions. The Temple of Tapos Iris Magna, dedicated to Isis and Osiris, would have probably been a place of significant religious symbolism to Cleopatra's life and death. Plus, the temple's location is ideal because it's within the ancient limits of Alexandria, but outside the area controlled by the Romans at the time. 
The common knowledge is that Cleopatra was afraid that the Romans would destroy her remains. So it's reasonable to think that she would have entrusted her body to a group of people and a place where she knew she would be protected after her death. If this speculation is right, then the priest of the temple would most likely would have hid her body away from the Romans and kept it safe for eternity. The temple of Tapo Cyrus Magna was also a crucial religious center with important political significance. Plus, it was associated with Egyptian mysteries, according to the ancient writer Plutarch. At a time when Alexander the Great was going to Siwa Oasis, he had to stop by the temple for research and more discoveries. A team of researchers started their search for Cleopatra's tomb within the Tapo Cyrus Magna Temple. They began by excavating both inside and outside the temple and came upon various architectural components distributed across different levels. The teams were able to see the limestone room's foundations, which were built parallel to the north wall. At the second level, the team found architectural elements that dated back to the late Roman era. The level was right on a staircase and had a rectangular building with three differently sized rooms. At the end of the building's eastern wall, a new entrance was also discovered, leading to a hall with two small rooms on the two sides. No one knows what the rooms are used for, but they were separated by a tunnel that ended up in a door opening to another large room. This large room may have been a home for the commander of the Roman camp when it was initially built. At the third level, there was limestone where the team found five steps made of the rock, which led to a courthouse. The fourth level contained the foundations of residences that were most likely used by the Ptolemaic temple priests at some point. This area also had a group of ovens with a stella containing ten lines of Greek inscription discovered in front of one of them. It's important to note that the temple had a foundation similar to that of a rectangular building that could have served as a chapel for the temple gods. An altar located on the western end of the building led to the sanctuary where they came upon the chapel of Isis. They also found the arm of a statue representing Apis, which further pointed to the fact that the temple was dedicated to the divine triad of Osiris, Isis, and Horus. While digging into one of the temple's shafts, archaeologists found skeletons. One of them is believed to have belonged to a man who was left in the shaft and never retrieved. At a depth of 28 meters, they discovered another skeleton. And even deeper, at 35 meters below the temple, they found a third skeleton. The third skeleton was that of a woman who had died while giving birth to a child. She was holding a statue of Alexander the Great and wore a ring and a leg chain with a snake amulet. Within the debris of one of the shafts, a significant number of Rhodian amphoras were found. These amphoras had seals containing the names of the factory and priests. They were likely used for transporting Rhodian wine. In a room near the last shaft, scientists discovered an alabaster head of a queen. Examination of the head suggested that it could represent Cleopatra, especially when compared to images of Cleopatra found on coins within the temple. The similarity in style supported this identification. These discoveries provide valuable insights into the history of the temple and the people associated with it. However, it's important to note that the search for Cleopatra's tomb is ongoing. And while these findings are significant, they don't definitively confirm the location of her tomb. Many experts believe that Cleopatra's tomb may be underwater between Alexandria due to cultural changes, natural decay, or possible robbery over time. Nevertheless, the quest to find Cleopatra's tomb continues, and the mystery surrounding this iconic historical figure remains a topic of fascination and discussion. Whether her tomb is ever discovered or not, Cleopatra's legacy continues to capture the imagination of people around the world.